Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for entrusting me with your time today and also for nominating me for next year's Community and Political Co-Directors. Direct, co -director. My name is Rihanna and I use your pronouns. And I would like to start my speech tonight with an excerpt from Jose Rizal's Noli Metal. How long have you been away from the country, Rodrigo asked Ivana. Almost seven years. And you have probably forgotten all about it. Quite the contrary. Even though my country does seem to have forgotten me, I've always thought about it. Immigrating from the Philippines, but at a young but sensible age, there was an expectation from my friends and family that I would lose my Philippine identity simply because I was moving to America. Since then, every time I would visit back home, they would always be surprised whenever I would be able to still speak Tagalog or even know barely and just enough about the current affairs of the country. In reality, there's this notion that every young immigrant who takes one step out of the country would eventually, if not instantaneously, lose whatever is left of their Filipino identity. But for me, I truly learned that distance only makes the heart grow fonder. Being thousands of miles away, I had this fear that I would lose my Filipino identity. Through this fear, I started to make a more active effort in trying to stay aware of our country's current affairs and also of the history and the culture. For the last 10 years, I, perhaps maybe a few of you, have witnessed the injustices and cruelties that our fellow combines have faced at home. For the last 10 years, I have listened and learned that we all share this fear of losing our Filipino identity, of losing touch with the Philippines and therefore with ourselves. Through this, I learned two important lessons. The first is how each of us living in this country grants us a special kind of privilege. The privilege of the freedom of speech, what allows us to speak our voices without the looming fear of being red tagged or the fear about our safety and the threats on the safety of our friends and our family. As members of Kasamahan, one of the largest organizations here on campus, it is our responsibility to recognize the special privilege and to utilize it into bringing attention into the injustices and cruelties our fellow Kababayans have faced at home. Because secondly, um, loving and embracing our culture also entails loving and caring for the people that make up for it, both here and abroad. My platform centers around the word Malikbay, literally meaning to return to one's home country, but it can also mean philanthropy and giving back giving back to the Filipino community that helped shape our identity tonight and to our community that brought us here together tonight in this very room. If I would be fortunate enough to be a Community of Political Affairs co-director, I will start to educate our members on our country's rich history which faces the threat of erasure every day and also on current affairs that affect every Filipino ally back home and abroad. Through better education, our Kusamas will be more equipped in playing an active role in safeguarding the community that Kusama provides for us the space that allows for our voices and voices of the generations that will come after us to be heard. I am confident that we as Kasamas are capable of such great feat because despite being thousands of miles away from the country or perhaps to be forgotten because of our American status, we will always think and care for our country. Salamat.